guys, Stephen Cox here, and I hope you enjoyed listening to a little upright versus the U bass with the flat wound strings. I wanted to give you a few pros and cons to this. Basically, um, the instruments are a lot different and they're better for different things. So you can probably hear this stuff in the video, but I also want to add to some of it with what it's like acoustic rather than just with pickups. Obviously, the easier instrument to slap on is going to be the U bass. The upright bass, it's like I slapped pretty hard on it and it didn't pick it up very well. That was why it kind of sounded a little quieter on that section. And then of course, bowing on the U bass. The downside of bowing on the U bass is you can really only bow the G string and the E string. So I chose to just bow the G string on this. And it's really hard to get the angle with the bow to not hit the other strings because there's not really much of a radius for you to angle the bow to avoid the other strings. So you can kind of do melodies on the G string, but it's very limited and it's nowhere near as rich sounding because the body doesn't reverberate as much as the upright bass. So you just get a much richer tone, especially acoustic. That was with the pickup which isn't quite as good sounding on the upright. Basically, if you were to do it with just the bow acoustically in a room, that instrument would sing a lot better, and this one would just kind of sound like a scratchy, weird, quiet noise. <laughs> Really with plucking, they aren't super different. This one has a different tone than the upright. It sounds more like an electric bass with flat wound strings rather than an upright bass. So if you want that upright sound for plucking, you probably want to go with the rubber strings, but if you want the feel of playing on the strings, you probably want to get the flat wound strings. So those are just a few little pros and cons of each. If you have any questions I didn't answer in this video, please let me know down below and I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you'd like to learn how to play the parts in this, I have the sheet music on Patreon, and you can subscribe below for more content like this. Thanks, and I'll see you guys next Tuesday.